I sweat very easily. It may be genetic, or perhaps maybe my diet can be to blame, but I tend to sweat a lot in situations where other people probably wouldn't as much. It's not even really the smell I'm worried about. I think I generally smell pretty okay even after I've sweat, so I think I'm safe in that department. It's more so the discomfort of having whatever layer of clothing directly touching my body unfortunately be used as a towel. I'm pretty envious of people who can wear like layers in warm weather and be perfectly okay. Like they have the freedom to wear really stylish and fashionable outfits in high 20 degree weather while I'm limited to like a tank top and shorts. Because I just can't handle the heat. It's a choice between wearing enough to cover my skin and shading myself from the sun and not having proper ventilation, or I wear really ventilated clothes, but I get barbecued by solar flares. Give me sunscreen. But who knows, maybe they are sweating to the window, to the wall, to the sweat drop down their balls, and they're just sucking it up while their clothes basically sponge up all their fluids. It's the whole trendy equals torture, beauty is pain kind of thing, where people wear shorts outside in northern winter. Like, how how do you do- is your skin impenetrable? Like, what? It has worked out to be rewarding in the past when I used to do Taekwondo. My teacher always knew if you were slacking or half-assing the training exercises. I forgot what we specifically had to do, but this one time my teacher singled me out after finishing a set and was like, Look how hard Dom is going! Look how much he's sweating! Why aren't all of you sweating that much? And inside my head I'm like, ho 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 ho, yes, that is correct! Look how much harder I'm punching, proven by the amount of fluids exiting my pores, whatever. Like, yeah, I was putting in effort, but it wasn't full ham adrenaline Super Saiyan Captain Falcon mode. I just sweat that freaking much when it comes to any level of physical exertion. Moving a few light objects, sweating bullets, eating something remotely spicy, precipitation, playing video games, water bending. You know at the gym, that place where you're expected to sweat? How do some of you manage to still look presentable after a workout? Like there are some people who get off the treadmill and look like they're ready to go on a date. Meanwhile, I hop off the elliptical, but it looks like I just finished swimming. Sleeping is another endeavor. I cannot sleep if my room is warm and I am not equipped with an electric fan. I mean, sure I can, but not comfortably. It just becomes a process of rotating like every minute just so the other unexposed half of my body can breathe and not stick to my bed due to my adhesive sweat. I think that's kind of why I don't really play DDR in public as much as I used to, because I can't just casually do it anymore. I can't play the game and not try to go ham and cheese. Especially on the last song, cause you're given three, and even if I think I'll fail it, I have to go out with a bang. But then after that bang, it's like, wow, I didn't know it rained indoors. No wait, that's me. When did I become a cumulonimbus cloud? Which is why I just bought my own hard pad and play in the comfort of my home with unlimited playtime, no waiting for my turn, and without the other sweaty, gross players. Which would include me also because I, I get pretty gross when I play, like the pad gets all wet from my... Yeah, it's pretty bad. But it's some good cardio, though. Anyway, as gross as it feels, I guess I should be thankful and flattered because sweating is a reaction that helps regulate body temperature, so it's just my body telling me I'm too hot!